Cloud just introduced this concept called agent skills. It might look complicated, but it's actually really simple ideas, but super powerful. And many things that it might be even bigger than MCP. So a cloud code skill, you can almost consider it as a combination of both a prompt instruction to teach agent how to do certain skills, as well as a list of assets and tools like predefined functions and templates guidelines to make it produce more consistent result. But the tool and assets are kind of optional. It can be as simple as just one single prompt as well. For example, for the brand guideline skill, literally just one single prompt, including very specific brand guidelines that you want agent to follow. Same thing here. I also have a UI design skills that just one single prompt. So all the skills start with this skill.md file, including this short description YAML explaining to agent when to use this skill. And this description will always be added to the agent context. So you will know what type of skills it has access to. And when agent decide to call the skill, this is where the rest of the context below will be loaded. So this part almost feel like cloud code comments. So skill.md is the most necessary part of the skill. For more complex skill, you can also include more resource. For example, for this skill to generate algorithm art, it also includes resource like example implementation and get agent to read those example reference before the implement to making sure we have more consistent result. But more importantly, you can also include some predefined functions. Like in this Slack give creator skill, it already imports list of packages and predefined functions. And the instruction here basically tell the agent how to use those functions to create a nice GIF out of the box. And here's why I think skills might be even better than MCPs. So MCP has been an awesome way to extend agent's capability. By connecting agent with new MCPs, it can suddenly do new things that it couldn't do before. The problem is that MCP in practical is not that easy to use. Firstly, MCP can consume a whole bunch of tokens that is unnecessary because each MCP can contain a bundle of different tools. And each tool here, including the description about when to use this tool, as well as input schema. And all those tokens will be loaded to the agent context, regardless whether this is useful or not. And more importantly, quite often MCP builder will want to build the tools in a more kind of modular way. So it's reusable and more composable. But that also means most of MCP is not something you just connect and use. You want to give agent more detailed instruction about the order of when to use which tool. And that may set up more complicated. But on the other hand, the way SKU is set up, it allows you to consume much less token, but perform much more complicated tasks. Let's take chassis and MCP as an example. At default, it has seven different tools for different purpose. If I load the context, you will see those chassis and MCP tools already take about 4.2 thousand token. But you can imagine if we turn that into a chassis and SKU, we can probably reduce token from 4.2 thousand to just 70. And that means your agent can be equipped with many more SKUs and it should just work out of box because SKU.md can already contain all the reference and instructions. Without further ado, let's show you an example. So here under dog cloud slash SKUs, we have loaded a list of different SKUs. And there's one SKU called Slack GIF Creator, which including the description, the full details about how to create a GIF, as well as some predefined functions. So if I ask it to create a GIF for my Slack around daily stand-up time, you will see that it will try to call this command, Slack GIF Creator, with a custom prompt. As I mentioned before, this skill is basically reuse the command infrastructure. If you click yes, it will start loading all skills here. Then it will create this Python code and run this Python code, which generates GIF. It doesn't look perfect, but the thing is that it's very easy for you to think about how to improve this skill or pipeline by just improving those predefined functions. There's another skill called algorithm art. If I tell it to help me create an animated Zen style mountain algorithm art, again, it will call this command. It will first create an MD file to really design and plan the artwork. It will read the template file that we defined here as example reference. Then just generate this animated art using P5JS. Meanwhile, another really cool thing about skill is that you can also start using skill for your own code base as a way to make agents self-improving. So here's how I create skills for my own code base. So I'm building this cloud platform for super design and we have this fairly large model repo. And what I do is that I load a skill creator skill inside a doc cloud folder. So I can give a prompt. We have the front end in this folder and also share package here. Please go investigate our current convention and tell me what's the best practice for any new UI component. Great, so we did a quite deep investigation and come back with the convention. Now let's create a skill called frontend, including all the best practice for frontend implementation for our code base. Let's start with how to add UI components. So it will try to call the skill, initiate skill frontend, which will be created here. Include this file that generates general description. Obviously you can update that. Also it starts including those best practice about our frontend and UI implementation. It even created further reference file for the component guide as well as style guide. With this one, next time if I ask it to create a new UI component, like let's create a new UI component for emoji and image picker in our front end. It will firstly call the skills to get the best practice and coding convention in our code base first, and then start building things properly, following the best practice. So this is how you can use skill feature to really extend agent's capability and make it continuously improving. I just started this repo called Awesome Cloud Skills. At the moment, most of them is from official cloud, but I start adding some stuff like UI design. 
which including very specific prompt that I've been using. And I'll keep adding new stuff. Also, feel free to contribute and create PRs. And meanwhile, if you're interested to dive into cloud skills more, I will dive a bit deeper in our upcoming weekly workshop at AI Builder Club. So you can click on the link below to join if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.